Welcome back. So we have a third ride of today on this Honda Days. Excited. And we have CL500. This is going to be interesting. <sighs> All right. Okay, so we have a key right here. Oh. Wow, quiet. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another test. So this is the last ride of today. CL500 Retro uh, Cafe Racer Motorcycle um, with a classic, really classic, six styling. So right off the bat, feels really light, really nimble, high handlebars, feels really agile as well. The first impression, it's windy. <laughs> That's first impression. We don't have any quick shifters, so now I have to shift by myself, no issue at all. But I have to get used to the clutch again, since before I was... Uh, at the beginning I had quick shifter, then I had the uh, automatic gearbox and right now I have manual, so from every cup, from every single So we're gonna have a given the pictures, that's awesome. Sitting position, um, I can fly through the motorcycle, so it's uh, pretty okay. Nothing special, not really high, not really low. As far as I remember, 320 millimeters, I believe. A lot of motorcycles today and a lot of, a lot of numbers, so if I forget or if I'm not correct, please forgive me, I was trying to you know, learn all of it. Yeah, it's not really tall and it's not like really low or something, so it's kind of fine. Kind of in the middle, I'd say. Uh, the seat, it has really kind of like an old school seat, like a, like a couch or bench or something like that, a chair. Um, it's fine for now, let's, let's see, because we're gonna have like one hour of ride, so. I will figure it out later on how it be how it's uh, you know how it's good for my butt, but for now it's fine. Uh, nice straight sitting position as on the naked style motorcycle as you would expect. Uh, my feet are under my thigh, not under my butt. So also really, um, really comfortable position for my legs as well. I don't feel cramped. I don't feel. Uh, you know, in a racy position, it's a, uh, it's a chill, it's a chill naked style position. So if we, if we're gonna describe a motorcycle, uh, it doesn't have any modes. So as you can see, it's just the horn, uh, turn signals and the high beam lights and the starter. So there is nothing electronically involved. So no sport mode, no race mode, <laughs> that not at all, no off-road mode, nothing, so no modes, man. Also, in that case, you don't have throttle by wire, so we have cable throttle as usually uh, on this kind of a, let's say, low-budget motorcycles. Let's talk engine. This is CL500, so uh, from the name you can pretty much guess the CC of the engine. So it is 471 cc engine. It is a parallel twin. So we're gonna have you know a lot of fun with low RPM and mid low RPM. The high RPM. This is not the the strength of the motorcycle, but you know it's a it's a street uh, oriented. It's a um, cafe racer, not really racy racer. It's a it's an old school motorcycle. It's this is about a style. This is about the looks, not about the speed. Not about the speed, it's something you have to understand. In that case, we don't have really, you know, performance 
parts on this motorcycle so obviously we don't have upside down forks we have classic forks with those rubber covers which are really old school so to keep the theme of the motorcycle to be old school to be you know stylish they are not adjustable so you are stuck with the setting as it is maybe you can kind of like change the oil in the in the forks or you can change the springs but no preload no compression no rebound that to be said uh that is a one 310 millimeter disc in the front so we have one disc set up for this motorcycle since it is not really powerful you know bike you don't really have to have like high end uh top notch brake setup so this should be just fine also not really any you know top notch master cylinder should be missing brakes all over but that's not a complaint just a statement so to to keep that on mind that this is not you know racing this is not a racing bike and i don't really advise taking this to the track like it can make a couple of laps but i don't think this it, it's gonna be really you know joyful other than that this motorcycle weighs uh, 191 kilograms so this is pretty much on the low end of the of the of the weight um it's really soft like the rear shock is so soft and you have actually two shocks in the back to keep that old school look with the with the double shock concept uh not adjustable as well maybe preload i saw there might be some of the notches for the for the for the adjustment but i don't think there's going to be anything crazy difference but yeah i would i would like a little bit harder suspension so yeah that that being said um i can flat foot really easily you see that my legs are pretty bent so you see how soft it is like oh my god this is so far from sporty regarding vibrations like it's it really vibrates i mean i can really feel the engine in the packs like a lot well it's it is what it is honestly this case cover this this engine cover or you know the engine sticking out like the motorcycle is so narrow that engine sticks out and i kind of i'm kind of hitting the engine with my foot from time to time also the exhaust in the back so ergonomically well it's fine if you get used to it but i'm 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 just getting used to it so yeah this is not awesome shifter is a little bit too too high for me i have to kind of really bend the ankle but whatever and this is obviously a little bit slower group which is good for me because you know i'm lacking the power now on hornet it was awesome on hornet I'm doing what I can man yeah it's floaty it's floaty it just sits down and it just you know it's well this is not sporty this is not sporty setup at all but yeah well the knee down wasn't a goal of today so I'm doing what I can yeah well so thoughts in these kind of like a twisties well it's cold it's windy sun is shining from the back <laughs> no i mean you're you're thinking about another cycle well um it's fine like it's vibey it's a it's really vibey like i kind of feel like it doesn't like high, high rpm it, it almost feels the way it doesn't like the high rpm but it's you know it's fine 
Like, it, it's nothing special about the, you know, racy feel. Like, this is not supposed to be racy, so I'm just trying to keep up with people. Uh, there is no special like feel. It's it's really spongy. It's um, it's soft Doesn't have the punch in the throttle vibes a lot like I'm not saying it's bad I'm just saying this is not the environment where you are supposed to use the motorcycle It's it's fine for traveling from A to B like it's it's okay. There is nothing wrong with it it's just uh, this is supposed to be like from work to, to home, from home to work, to coffee with friends, to, you know, to just cruise around and look cool. Like, I'm, I'm, fe I'm again, I'm feeling silly with the, you know, knee sliders and the whole sporty setup which I have. But it's just not the motorcycle for it so you have to accept it like if you want to go fast then if you're gonna if you want to drag the knee this is not the motorcycle for you and it is something which has to be really clear yeah and i'm just i just hit the engine so yeah you have to get used to the fact that the engine is sticking out uh the pegs are done a little bit differently as in you know mm, as on uh, normal, let's say, um, the, the pegs are done a little bit differently uh, if you compare it with the standard city bike. Oh my god, that rear shock. Because uh, you have those grippier, like off roadish ones, which is not bad, but just like, I don't, you know, doesn't matter what kind of grips you have on this. Uh, it should be used a little bit of for the off-road, as I was said, uh, as I was told. You can use it for the off-road, as I was told, but uh, not really sure how would how this would behave on you know gravel or something, and you don't have any modes, so. Yeah, that reach for the rear brake is really strange. It's really, really strange. I'm just, you know, touching the engine all the time. How many, how many miles do we have? I don't even know. Like, it's not that you have just, uh, there's just like fuel indication, speedo, time, gear, and trip A. That's everything what you have on the gauges. So, yeah, really simple, really easy. You are not getting lost. You know, when I was on um, on an XADV and um, on the Hornet, there's so many setups. Like it will it will take you so many minutes to figure it out, or you have to ask or go, go through some tutorial or something. This is something which comes with the modern technology and modern bikes that sometimes you are getting a little bit lost in all those settings in TFT displays. Here it's really easy, like turn it on, turn it off, clutch, brake, shifter, you know, throttle, and that's it. So even whole instructions for this motorcycle was like, do you need to have something explained? I was like, no, I was like, okay, you're fine. <laughs> like I can, you know, try. Oh, 140. Oh my god, this is full throttle, mate. 150. I believe also the highway speeds. That's not something which is which this is, is built for. Yeah, I hope if you are commuting to work, you are not using highways, freeways, interstates, the uh, whatever else. Because 140, it's uh, pretty much 150. It's pretty much the limit. I don't know if it goes higher, but 150 feels um, dangerous. I don't think the seat is built for traveling. Like, it's fine for now. It's fine for like half an hour, hour to, to work, but yeah, well, I tried better. So this is also not the strongest department, the seat itself. So I believe the price, the style, 
and fuel consumption is one of the strong points uh, the performance the the customization I mean the ergonomics like suspension and uh, brakes uh, that's a little bit maybe a low side but it's pretty you know the rounded mirrors that's a little bit special ratted headlights that's nice the all black trims and the oh shit all black details that's also nice and the grips are um, um, not comfortable there is kind of like a strange line in here like all, all over the grip there is like a strange line probably to improve the grip but I would appreciate if the line wasn't there and it would be the same all over it's not so it's kind of strange all right ladies and gentlemen thank you for watching i appreciate you stopping by this was a really nice day look at the view look at the view yeah it was awesome on the days they never disappoint all right here we are neutral turn off and turn off uh. so this is this is it thanks to Honda thanks to this really nice Sunday so there you go guys stay safe see you on the next one cheers mm -hmm.